Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here at DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Wednesday, January 8, 2020. Got a free pick coming up in basketball in just a moment. First quick note, hey, don't forget about that uh, free $60 account if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com. You click on the link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account, and use those on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com or anybody else on the roster. Again, get started by clicking on the link below the video, free $60 account. A great way to give DocSports.com a trial run. We're going to get to our stuff quickly, but I have to, you know, about once a month, I have a little wine session, and that's what I got going on tonight because I had a bad night on Tuesday, and uh, but I'm a little ticked off at the way it happened. Okay, we had Texas Tech. They lose to Baylor 57-52. If I lose, okay, I get it. But when you got a 75% free throw shooting team for the season, and they're at home, and they make 5 out of 12, and they miss front ends, kind of ticks off a little bit. I've been doing this for a long time. I still don't get used to that too much. And then, of course, uh, we went to overtime with an underdog in the NBA, and you know what that means? Loss. I, I was texting back and forth with a couple of fellow betting buddies and uh, knowing I had the nets, and they said, uh-oh, this looks like it's going to overtime. And I said, oh, man, don't say that. I don't even want to hear it. Well, the nets, uh, you know, leading most of the fourth quarter and then scored a whopping two points. Over the final minute 13 of regulation and the entire five minutes of overtime. So about a minute 13 to go, they made a basket. Everything after that, two points. Six minutes and 12 seconds, we'll call it a basketball. Two points, that's right. So you've got this underdog. Well, at least we got them on uh, late last night and into yesterday morning. Not late last night, but late two nights ago. And into yesterday morning, they were an underdog. They became the favorite. They were a huge sharp play. Uh, but again, um, final six minutes and 12 seconds of basketball, two points. Spencer Dinwiddie, boy, he's just having a great year. Not last night down the stretch. Missed like three shots and a free throw at the end of regulation. What are you going to do? So there's my wine session. Uh, seem to have one about once a month, and that was ours from January. I, I don't plan on having any more. So let's talk about what's going on moving forward. Uh, still on a 67% run with our college basketball plays, uh, with our last 25 college basketball plays going back a few weeks now. And uh, we've got college basketball, multi-game card. Really like the card on Wednesday. Wednesday, so be sure to grab that on uh, Wednesday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. That's when our college basketball at DocSports.com is available. Uh, I will be in NBA action, and that'll be at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Same with NHL. They're always available daily, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific time. As far as the football package this week, it'll be up this Thursday, as always, Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. NFL playoff action plus the college football championship I'll be involved in. And uh, by the way, real quick note, this week's uh, football package, which includes this weekend's divisional round of the NFL and the college football championship, half price. No code to worry about. You just go over to DocSports.com and you get this week's football package, half price. Okay, don't miss out on that. So that's what we got going over the next couple of days over at DocSports.com for myself. Let's jump into a free pick in college basketball, turning to the ACC. Listen, I know there's going to be a lot of public bettors out there who are going to think that Georgia Tech is going to mail it in, so to speak, or be flat after whipping up on North Carolina. I don't think that's going to happen, and here's why. First of all, uh, they're getting a lot of points here. This has been a close hard-fought series for the most part, even though Duke wins every time they play at Georgia Tech. They're closer uh, than this point spread for the most part. And that's going back about eight years now or so, eight or nine seasons now, as far as Duke wins the games at Georgia Tech, but they're never by huge margins, very rarely. And as far as this game is concerned, and the reason I don't think Georgia Tech is going to have a flat spot coming off the win over North Carolina is the addition of a couple of new players. In fact, you've got uh, the return of Alvarado. You're talking about a guy averaging double digits in points over his six games. You've got the USC transfer guard in Jordan Usher. He's averaging double figures and points per game and about four rebounds per game in the five games he's been back. It really does free up a guy like Michael DeVoe. And I do think that this roster is deep enough uh, to give Duke, or at least hang that number against Duke, give him a little bit more than they thought they probably would have uh, before these players came back. One of them coming back, Alvarado, and then the other one becoming eligible for the Yellow Jackets. So we're going to recommend taking the 
points with Georgia Tech on Wednesday. Georgia Tech plus the points over Duke, your free play. Again, don't forget about uh, Wednesday's card, college basketball, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific, NBA at 1 p.m. Eastern, NHL at 1 p.m. Eastern, 67% in college baskets going back about three weeks now, and don't miss out on Wednesday's card. So, all right, that's going to do it for us for Wednesday's report. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate those of you who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Sprite for DocSports.com. Let's put Wednesday in the win column right back here Thursday, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.